zombies, the walking dead, reanimated soulless brain munching monsters. Are they merely the stuff of Hollywood myth? Not at all. We're pleased to reveal they're really real. Well, kind of. To find them, you have to go to the island of Haiti, where magic and superstition still hold sway. Here, zombies are a kind of crime deterrent. But rather than fearing zombies, people fear being turned into one. Let's say, for hypothesis sake, this woman had done some terrible deed. The Ngana, that's medicine man to you and me, would punish her by turning her into a zombie. So how does he do it? Well, all the palaver of the drumming and the chickens is mere decoration. The key to all is chemistry. Powder is tetrodotoxin, made from the liver of the highly toxic blowfish known as fugu. Tetrodotoxin is a marine toxin which is found in pufferfish and in other species. It is a paralytic poison. So when administered to somebody would cause paralysis and numbness. Depending on the severity of the intoxication, you could have several outcomes. Either you could have death, or you could have a condition where a person is apparently not breathing, but once the toxin is cleared from their body, then it might be possible for them to revive. And this would be like a reanimation of a dead body, hence a zombie. So far from being the walking dead, zombies, strictly speaking, are more like Pink Floyd's Sid Barrett, tragic drug casualties. Zombie dogs, however, are a very different scenario. In Pittsburgh, thousands of miles away from Haiti, boffins have recently brought dead pooches back to life three hours after being declared clinically deceased. The process starts when the hapless hound's veins are drained of blood and filled with an ice-cold salt solution. Unable to breathe, without a heartbeat, and with no sign of any brain activity, the pooch is then what doctors call dead. But because its body temperature is kept at seven degrees, it means the organs and tissues are perfectly preserved. Three hours later, the salt solution is drained and the dog is resuscitated. Woof! In the case of the experiments in Pittsburgh, where the dogs that were cooled down were allowed to warm up so that oxygen is being supplied to the brain, you can have an apparent reanimation of a lifeless body. <laughs> <laughs>